guys, nerds. This is Nancy Basile. And today, Rini Panzini is showing us her giant Betsy Johnson plus size haul from Torrid because she went crazy because she loves Betsy Johnson. Yay! Hi, Rini. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I already see some of it behind you. So first, before you show us your awesome stuff, tell okay. me why you were so excited when Betsy Johnson showed up on Torrid. Okay. So ever since I was, I would say a young teenager in the eighties, um, Betsy Johnson has been like my end all be all fashion designer, everything. So when I lived in New York, um, I would say in the late eighties, maybe early nineties, she started having pop-up boutiques and the stuff there was just so gorgeous and really my style like the style that I know is just made for me but I was never able to have it because they never had plus size in that style it's called like it's like punk glamour a lot of tool a lot of lace a lot of pink a lot of black um so I used to see these pop-up boutiques but I couldn't have anything in them and it was torturous so Before if I could, um, yeah how did you know about Betsy Johnson before the pop-up boutiques? Just because she's in other stores? Yeah, she used to sell in a lot of stores in Greenwich Village. And, you know, there was no way you could not know Betsy Johnson because her stuff was so out there that if you saw it, you knew it was hers. Cool. So cool. Um, I was able to buy like little pieces of things that looked like Betsy Johnson-ish when mm -hmm. I was younger, but nothing was ever her label, which was something I always wanted. So when I used to see the boutiques in the city and I would look in these windows and think like, oh, I'm gonna lose weight and I'm gonna be able to go and get that dress. And I'm gonna get that tutu and I'm gonna wear that jacket. And I did eventually lose weight back then, but even in those stores, a size 14 was a size eight. Right. So right. even at like a, a decent 14, you couldn't even get those clothes. Right. So it was depressing. It was really depressing. And um, so, you know, things got better as I got older, right? The stores have better things and stuff. And you're able to buy a tutu online and you could get like a fake leather jacket and stuff like that. I did always buy Bessie Johnson pocketbooks and wallets and sometimes her shoes, but her shoes were always very narrow also. Mm -hmm. um, but I would buy from other stores and stuff. But then when I saw that Torrid was collaborating with her, oh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it's like a dream come true. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So have you tried any of it on? I only tried on the sweatshirt. Well, no, actually, when I first got it, I'm sorry. I did try everything on to make sure it fit and everything fit perfectly like if you're a three in Torrid, awesome. you're a three in betsy johnson that's so, what i'm yeah wondering. yeah if yeah. the sizing was funky it's or not that's awesome. yeah cool. um so you've always wanted betsy johnson and this many years later here we are here we are how how did you decide what to get because i would want to like get everything well, I did want to get everything, but I had to put like some kind of cap on my spending because right. my husband didn't know and I had to, you know, get my own stuff. So I, I just started putting stuff in the wagon, you know, in the mm -hmm. little cart. And most of the stuff that I wanted was kind of punky black. I, I wanted a red and orange plaid kind of skirt that she had. But she also had a lot of red and black, like that buffalo check, which I feel like I could probably get a red and black buffalo check flannel shirt somewhere if I wanted to. So I didn't get any of that. Um, and I didn't get any of the lingerie, which is gorgeous. And I'm thinking about going back and getting some. Yeah. It's a new month. <laughs> That's true. And Christmas is coming. I could treat myself. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. So. Let's see what you got. You can go in any order you want. Okay. Random. I'm going to go from this side to this side. I like what you're wearing right now, by the way, whatever oh, that you. is. This is from Shein. Oh. You know what? Let me stand up. 
Okay. It's got like a elasticized yep. waist and then a yep. peplum. Ooh, cute. Oh. And it comes like mid hip. I know you can't see it, but it's also got like a ruffle kind of sleeve. Nice. And they have it in all different um, prints. So I'm thinking of getting a couple of more because it's really comfortable. It's very flattering. Thank you. It's, it's a good like wrap kind of neckline. Yes. And if you don't know, uh, Rini, she is like a Shein queen, FYI. I love <laughs> Shein and Poshmark. And now Betsy Johnson at Torrid. It's all bad. All COVID shopping bad. Oh, what else are we going to do? I know it's true. There's nothing to do. All right. So first things first, this sweatshirt was made for me because look what's on it. Oh, that it's is cool. Betsy Johnson as the Statue of Liberty with the red lips. Cool. Come on. <laughs> that is very cool. And it's really made really well. I When I bought it, I was like, oh, it's a sweatshirt. But it really feels more like a combination sweatshirt sweater. Oh, okay. You know, is it's it not like a thick sweatshirt that would get okay. bawling. Yeah. It's thin and it's very comfortable. I wore it already. I like the thin because then I don't get overheated either. Yeah. Especially because today it's like 75 out. It's not supposed to be. I don't like it. It's too hot. It's me neither. It's too hot. It's pretty out, but it's too hot. Yeah. I'm wearing I'm wearing shorts today. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Well, I don't want to get overheated, which happens well, very easily. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I've been having the hot flashes. They're awful. <laughs> All right. So then we have this t shirt, which is so perfect, right? Yeah. Just, I'm so bored. That very makes me wonder if she designed it after the pandemic or before, you know? Right. That's a good, that's a good thought. I wonder. Hmm. We'll I would say, say after. after. Yeah. yeah we'll say after. That's cool. So it's I kind of like, like um, it's a little fit and flare. Ooh. It comes in a little. So when you put it on, it's not all tight on the belly. It mm -hmm. kind of comes in under the bust a little bit. Good, good. That's what so I got like. this to wear with. The skirt. Oh, this is what you were talking about. Yep. Oh, it's cute. Skirt. Nice. I love it. Yeah, it's a nice skater style and it has deep pockets on both okay. sides. There's pockets. Nice. I love, yeah, I love the pattern. And it's this is surprisingly thick and very stretchy. Ooh, it's got stretchy. a lot of stretch Ooh. in it. Nice. I like that the waistband is thick. Mm hmm You know? Yeah. It's not going to like cut you off. Right. And it comes like mid-knee, like right above my knee. I'm 5'5". Five five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> yes, Mandy, that skirt is life. I agree. Yes. Uh, that they have a jacket skirt. that matches. What? They have what? a jacket. Ooh, nice. But yeah, I like I love the black and the plaid. Very grungy, very like flannel tied around your waist look. Yep. Nice, nice. I love it with that. Mm -hmm. And then to go over it, they had this cardigan. Where do you see this? Not the jacket, uh, a cardigan. A cardigan, yeah. Wow. Lots of coordinating pieces. It, and they're all like mix and match. Nice. So this is called... I think this is called the tattoo cardigan. I love that design. Hang on. I know I got the title here. I bet it's tattoo because I can see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got like like tattoo print on it. See like the yeah. logo. Yeah. Now what kind this of fabric is, cool. is that? So this is a very thin knit. It mm. is cotton viscose nylon. Okay. And so it it'll, looks have a, cute. it'll have a little bit of a sway to it. It's not just, yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah. It's not Ooh, like nice. a clingy material and it's got yeah. the nice ribbing, ribbing on here. Good. Oh, it's so, so cute. Yeah. This with that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. cute, right? Mm-hmm. I feel a photo shoot coming. Yes, I do too. <laughs> I do. 
Yes. Then last but not least, because now that I'm thinking, I really should have got the jacket that went with the skirt. <laughs> now I have oh. to get the jacket. So I'll yeah. have to order more. But okay. All right. This is classic Betsy Johnson. This is what I dreamt of since I was, you know, 12 years old. It is pink and black, leopard print, strapless, shirt on the bust, long with tulle underneath, pink tulle under it. That is so having a party. Isn't it? I need it's to go out. I love it. Isn't it adorable? You yes. We're gonna I have need to throw to a party. I was just gonna say that we gotta throw some kind of COVID party so you could yes. it is adorable. So, and it's so comfortable and it fits like a glove. Does it? She knows what she's doing, this woman. Okay, now I suck at this. So what kind of strapless bra do you wear with that? You don't you go to tour. Look at this. You can unzip oh, the booties. Nice. Yeah. Woo. So, I have from Torrid the strapless bra that I love. It comes with straps, but you could take them off. And it's underwire and padded bottom, so it holds everything oh, up. Okay. And I love it. And I got it yes. in Torrid. It wasn't that much. It was maybe 50 something dollars, but they last forever. But they last you know? forever. Absolutely. So, the, yeah, all oh, that thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Maybe. What is yes. I was, I was gonna, gonna say, say maybe <laughs> we keep talking over there. You go, you're the guest. Ah, maybe by New Year's Eve, everything will be back to normal and I could wear that dress. But they oh. also have it in silver. They have silver. it in silver with silver tool. I like the pink though. I like the pink. I like the pink too. The jacket, uh, is it like a waist length jacket or ah yes. uh, yeah. And they even have boots that that match that. Oh they have God. ankle booties that match the red plaid. I know there's something about the red plaid. There's also a red plaid bodycon dress. I can't do bodycon yet. Mm. I'm not that confident. But it looks so good in the pictures. Just what yeah, happened. I, I can't do bodycon yeah. either. Mm. We, I, need, I need the fit and flair. I, <laughs> I like fit and flair, yeah. Uh, that well, now I feel uh, my checking account is in trouble. <laughs> yes. Because I, I understand. Cardigan with the tattoo print. I love that. They and have I that match print. that. They have other things that you would like. They have some other dresses mm -hmm. that are more, um, they're really not casual, but you could wear them every day. Why not? Why not? Especially Yeah, now. why not? And then I got... <laughs> Oh, Is Mandy's she, asking, do they have pink leopard boots to match the dress? Yes, I think they did. I think they had pink leopard, um, like, ankle boots. Mm, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Awesome. These are not Betty, Betsy Johnson, but I got them from Torrid. Oh, cute. Aren't they cute? They're adorable. I love the buckle. I, yeah, and they were on sale for 25 bucks. Oh, my gosh. And the zipper is up the back. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to worry about unbuckling perfect. and buckling. Aren't they cute? They are very cute and perfect for the Betsy Johnson line. Perfect yes. for that. I love it. And <laughs> then oh, I went on Poshmark because I wanted to get white boots. But mm -hmm. I didn't want knee-high like go-go boots. I wanted an ankle boot. Mm -hmm. So I got these on Poshmark. Right? The heel is black. They're so not mod. Too high. So mod. Ooh, with the squared off. Square toe. toe. Nice. They're from Zara. They have the price on them $169. I got them for like 47 bucks on Poshmark. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. For those of you watching, let me just say this woman here, she Poshmark, for those of you who don't know, is like a consignment app. People sell. Sometimes new clothing, sometimes used, yeah. whatever. But it's not like eBay where you have to bid. You can just go and pay. And they're right. individual sellers. This woman finds <laughs> the most awesome stuff for so yeah. cheap. So cheap on there. That's uh, that's yeah. incredible. First of all, Gosh, to me, it's incredible that shoes would cost that much. I don't know why shoes need to I cost 
150 no, or whatever it was, but true. wow. Did you wear them yet? Are they comfortable? I didn't wear them yet. I tried them on. They're comfortable. Hence the square toe. Yeah. I mean, how could they not be comfortable with a square toe like that? And the, the nice heel too. And the chunky heel and it's not too high. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to wear those boots with the skirt, with the plaid skirt, with the t-shirt and the cardigan. Tights? Right. Yes, black tights, of course. Yep. Or uh -huh. maybe red tights. And oh, if you're looking for tights and you can't find tights that last or fit properly, mm -hmm. I recommend snag tights, everybody. Snag oh, tights. Yes. Snagtights.com. It's like you're not even yeah. wearing anything. They have a gazillion colors. They last. Yeah. They don't care. Uh, someone is saying, do the black ones come in wides? I wear a brace. The black the shoes. Oh, maybe the shoes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. These are. I think I think these are a nine wide. Oh, OK. I yeah, can't, I think I can't see right now, but. Yeah, I and I know they, they are wide. Right. And I know they have wide calf boots, so they probably, yeah. they, I think they would have wide uh, mm. shoes for that. Ooh. Yeah. Now, That's I haven't it. been to the mall since quarantine. Have you been to the mall since quarantine? No, I'm scared. <laughs> I know. I, um, I want to go because my son's girlfriend works at a store in the mall, and I told him maybe one day we would surprise her. Oh. Because we're yeah, because where she works, uh, you're welcome, Fofui one. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, where she works, they're super, super careful. You know, they, they only let so many people in and they take temperatures and stuff. But you got to go through the mall part first <laughs> to get to the store. And that's the tricky yeah. part. Yeah. Well, I mean, the mall is so big, social distancing is probably easy. Yeah. And if yeah. we have on a mask and don't touch anything. Yeah, maybe it's not. Let, so me, ask, let me ask you, uh, the Lane Bryant near us, have you noticed? Are they still open? Did they close? They closed. Did they? Like gone. Everything is gone. Yeah. Maybe, you know, because you know all this stuff about clothes. What I don't understand is like I got an email today on, from Kirby Fashionista. I love that site. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were talking about glam loungewear or glam like sweatsuits but nice yeah. looking from lane bryant and i was like wait i thought lane bryant was closing do you know like are they just online did they just maybe close they're just stores? online they're probably mm -hmm. just online you know why because i noticed recently that i'm getting emails from charming charlie's and they supposedly went out of business but now they have an online store Oh, oh, I bet Lane Bryant did the same thing. Our tour is in an outdoor type mall thing here. Oh, so you can walk straight in the front door. That would be nice. That's good. Yeah. Like the outlets. Yeah, that would be nice. Hmm. Well, I when I saw that glam loungewear stuff, uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to get some of that. <laughs> well, you know, Eloquy has some good glam loungewear. Yeah. And so did Ian. Sheen's is inexpensive, and if you get the stuff that's ribbed, like the ribbed material, the stuff is so comfortable, and the sizing is really good on Shein. If is you it? go by, if you go by the measurements, not by the number sizes, mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. comes out well. Okay, and yeah. the rib stuff not scratchy. No, very soft. I have a nice khaki colored um, set, very comfortable. Mm. Yeah, I feel like my casual wear, uh, I'm sick of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of it. And I need more. Now if, if we're going to go on shutdown again, I know. Because that's what it seems to be leaning towards. We need some more casual clothes. We do. I need more casual clothes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, does anyone else have any questions? Um, the other thing that uh, Torrid is getting ready for, of course, is the Christmas season. Do you do Chris? Like, do you do holiday dress shopping for yourself? I don't. I bought a Halloween dress this year, and I had a Halloween wedding, so I was able to wear it. But otherwise, it's one day. I don't know. Do you walk around in Christmas stuff? I know people love the ugly Christmas sweaters, but it's just not me. <laughs> A note about ugly Christmas sweaters. Growing up, those were just Christmas sweaters, yes. right? 
Yeah. <laughs> when we were growing up. Yeah, now they're so ugly. That part I know. Me. If I had just held on to my mom's sweaters all these years, I would be Yeah. Sad. And That's they crazy. thought they were styling. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of times when people buy all that holiday stuff, it's because they're going to parties, which oh. of course we aren't doing. Right. Which is pretty yucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. I uh, always get Christmas pajamas. Oh. That's a, get a lot of Christmas pajamas and wear them just all day. Yes. That's what I was thinking. Maybe the whole month of December. Yeah. <laughs> I do have my onesie, my, my um, candy cane onesie that I absolutely love, but yeah. those things get hot. Yeah. Really, really hot. But the pajamas, yeah. that, that would be better. Yeah. Can we just all wear pajamas all the time now? Wouldn't yeah. that be? Yeah. I think we can. Yeah. We should. I think the world is not going to look the same when this is all over. No. No, not a bit. I'm going to be very dressed up. <laughs> I just read that um, all these corporations are dumping rental space in big cities around oh. the country because their people are home. Right. And they've been home for so long and they don't know when they're coming back. So they're probably finding that they can operate at a much yeah. lower cost. Right. And so uh, investors are freaking out, you know, commercial real estate investors. Yeah. And, we, and one in particular is freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Because his space is going to be available. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> but yeah, I thought, whoa, it's it's just all the whole landscape is going to be totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. I bet there are tons of companies that are thinking like, this worked out great. Everybody just stay home. Right. Why, why not? Travel? Why, right. you know, if you need to have a meeting, why fly here, fly right. there? It's going to be it. Everybody different. will just stay home. We're all going to be like on um, Wally. -E. <laughs> you know, those people that are just buzzing around in the little scooters drinking sodas. I know. With their TV right yeah. here. The TV. <laughs> Except we'll be stuck in our houses. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, if no one else has any questions, I do want to say you can follow Rini on Instagram, Rini Panzini, and there will be, yes, there will be links in the description when we get done and you can see the Halloween dress, I think, right? Uh, that you wore? Yeah, I think so. I put it up. I think so. It's, oh, uh, you looked so cute in it. It was very flattering. Thank you. Yeah, stop it. No, it had like the fit and like a scooter dress on it. It looked really good. And yeah. if you want to shop toward, you can go to plussizenerd.com slash shop toward. That is my affiliate link. And you can find all the Betsy Johnson stuff. Thank you for being here. I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you, Rini, for showing us your haul. That was awesome. Welcome. That looking good. Yeah. Good <laughs> all job. right, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.